Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing my hand, I am doing it left handed and I'm going to try a bit of a variation on milk bath. Mm. So first off I am coming in with Pixie Hollow. So I had to remember what that was then, I only looked at it a few minutes ago but you know, had a brain fart, forgot what all about it. <laughs> Uh, this is from the Neverland collection from Moira and it is beautiful. I love that collection. It is, I think it is, it's, it's my favourite actually. Um, and I'm using two of them from, from that collection. So there's this one and the other colour is a Treehouse. So I am doing a full cover of um, Pixie Hollow on the three fingers so my ring finger, my middle finger, and my index finger. Mm. Now I'm going to apologise for some parts of this video. It it does go a little bit out of shot, um, especially when I start to do the semi milk bath because I, you know, when you're trying something new, you kind of you end up sticking your finger right next to your face. But obviously the camera is not right next to my face, um, so it has it is it's a little bit choppy. Okay, but you get the general principle. And let's face it, if you've seen a milk bath nail being done, you kind of know how it goes. But I'm doing this slightly different because with a normal milk bath, it's all white and, you know, it's creamy and it's supposed to look like petals floating in a milk bath, a bath of milk. Right. Um, so mine isn't because, as you can see, I've got Pixie Hollow as my base colour. But I like the the effect of the milk bath um which is why i've chosen to use luna blush from nail nails because it is kind of a pinky white uh, so this is treehouse which is coming on to the ring finger and the thumb so the no the pinky and the thumb pinky and the brain 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 anywho um so the pinky and the thumb are going to be exactly the same. And I've just realised the middle finger, I didn't do a full wash of Pixie Hollow because that's actually going to be a marble. Yes. I'll get there in a minute. I'm even looking at my nails and I still can't get it right. So that's, you know, helpful, isn't it? Um, I am using a glitter from Glitter Fairy, which is from the January VIP. So I don't think that one is available now. But it just shows how long this has been sat on my shelf of wonderment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, the shiny things call to me and then I get distracted and I do something different. So there we go. I'm just going to do this thumb. Now I am using the Glitter Planet Pre-Pinched Coffin Shaped tips today i do like uh the glitter planet tips i think the only issue i've got is with the stiletto ones uh well the, the really pre-pinched no it wasn't from glitter planet it was the vamp tips from ebay um they're just not big enough and they they just break when i try to use them i love the shape but it just doesn't work which is a shame um, and the Glitter Planet um, Extreme Pinch Stilettos, they're a bit too small. You know, they do some really, really small sizes, which sit, fit my sister's tiny weenie pinky. Um, she's about the only person I do know it fits. Oh, and Megan's tiny fingers as well. Uh, I, I do not have tiny fingers, um, so I, I struggle with those. I liked the um, Easy Fit Stilettos. They're nice, but... Because I have to cut so much off from them because they're so long, you kind of end up with this shape anyway, you know. So I might as well just use the coffin tips. So I think that that's my only drawback on them now. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm still now looking at them now today, and I'm thinking I still think, even for a coffin tip, I do prefer the easy tips. I know, I keep fluttering it backwards and forwards, whether I do, do I do, I do, 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 do
But so I want to try some different ones just to see how I feel about him. Um, and I, yeah, I'm starting to like the easy tips a lot more. They are really easy to fit. Um, they're a lovely, they're not a thick plastic either. So they don't take a lot of work on them. Um, right, I am coming in with a marble and I am using a mixture of Treehouse, Pixie Hollow and Blossom which is one of my favourites from Moira. Now, I've never tried to marble left-handed before, um, or, well, maybe, maybe I did, because I do know that trying to marble left-handed is doesn't really work. Um, and the, these beads set up so quickly on me, trying to do it left hand, as you can see, this just became a little bit of a lumpy, bumpy mess. So I changed tactics on it and decided I was going to... Um, Instead of trying to swirl the beads, because that was really hard, I just, I really struggled trying to do it wrong-handed. Um, I've, I've changed techniques. Yeah, which worked a lot better. Um, you can't really, and actually, you know, when you look at the nail, you really can't tell that much of a difference um, of which technique I did. So I definitely think instead of putting all three beads on and trying to swirl it, just put one bead at a time and kind of swoosh it through and then do the next bead and swoosh it through works better if you're, one, you're struggling with marbles, or two, you're trying to do it the wrong hand. I'm then just going to put some glitter swooshing through that. It's not really a glitter swoosh. What is it? Yeah, I, I don't know. Anywho, so these flowers, my son, we went on a walk and he found these beautiful flowers um, that he wanted to give me, which he always does, and I always put them in my purse. And I thought, Do you know what? These are so pretty. And I hadn't done milk bath. Um, I wanted to put them in nails. So I've left them for a few days to dry out. I haven't done anything particular with them. I've literally just let them dry out. Um, now, they can decay. You know, they can they can rot uh, in the nails, I have been told. So, which is again why I'm using them on my own hands. Because I will pay attention to what's going on. And if I, they need to come off, they need to come off. Um, I am now, I think, coming up two weeks and they're still absolutely fine. They're, there's there's nothing there. Um, I mean, the, the, the petals for the white flowers have gone slightly brownish, um, but they did that as soon as I put the acrylic on them, to be honest. So this is where it goes a little bit wrong on the footage. Um, but as you can see, I'm literally just dotting some of the flowers in with clear acrylic and then I'm putting some of the lunar blush which as you can see it's a it's a pinky white um over the top just really really wet okay I don't want it to cover up the flowers completely and then in amongst that I am going to put some of the glitter as well just little bits of the glitter just to give it some sparkle again some of it will be covered over with thicker parts of the um lunar blush and some of it will just be left really, really wet, so it's a bit more translucent. Um, and some of it was left clear, um, so again, you can really see the flowers. So it was kind of a mix of, mix of everything in there. Now, yes, I know what you're looking, you're looking at it going. That that's thick. Yes, they were. They were really thick. It did take quite a lot of filing, um, but actually, it, I didn't end up going through any of the. The flowers actually so that was good i was quite happy with that now i'm going to come on and i'm going to be using some spider gel there's no particular way in which i was doing this to start with i was just kind of blobbing it on now i didn't like how it went really really thick on that nail um, and when i do my thumb i liked it how it was a lot thinner this is the azure um spider gel paint so you can paint it on and you can use it as a spider gel uh, if i'm doing a spider gel i like to use a dotting tool just to pick it up make sure your finger goes really close to the pot when you're trying to do it so there you go i've just rubbed it off with some ethopopathol alcohol and i'm just going to redo it and you can do that as many times until you're happy with it and then you cure it in the lamp so i cure it for 30 seconds and then i do take the tacky off it because obviously I want to cap these nails and I don't particularly want tacky on it. I don't know what, whether, you know, you need to or not, but I just did. 
Okay, so, oh, um, yeah, I was using CJP's Clear, uh, their num uh, the One Monomer, and this is their top coat as well, which I think is called Time to Shine. Ooh, I don't know now. Anywho, it's top coat. Enjoy. This is beautiful. I'm going to leave you with this beautifulness. And it just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one.